I watched your documentary. Oh, thank you, man. Me and my girlfriend watched it. Yeah. Dude, I uh I didn't know that side of you or well, your family. I, I mean, it's 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 not really a side that I would think to ever want to this, you know, show people and it wasn't the plan. Like the I'm as in doc. I was just trying to get a bag, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I'm being honest, bro, I was like, yeah, look, they want to film me do what I do. Yeah. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. What you gonna give me a mil plus for that? Yeah, let's go. So they'll film me and then they just started asking me questions. And it just got got more and more deep. And I was there like, what the fuck is this? It became like a therapy session. All of a sudden I'm crying and I'm like, wow, this is uh this is different. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I just start talking about like my family life and like my relationship with my parents, my relationship with my bro, et cetera. And I was like, wow. So, and it, you know what's even more like crazy? I go online and I see so much love. And then I see one comment on Twitter being like, KSI's a fucking pussy. Sorry about that, by the way. <laughs> That's George's burner account. Yeah. <laughs> but I think like the idea that because obviously like my parents would beat me, they're like, bro, why are you complaining about that? Like, it is what it is, bro. I got way more beans than you. Get fucked. And I'm like, why, oh, oh, why are we, like, comparing beings with each other? Like, <laughs> Does this that type a of shit still, like, get to you? Like, when you see one negative comment, does it sometimes still kind of stick with you a little oh, bit? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm so used to it now. Yeah. Right, like, right. For you to think you're elevated or on a platform or something because the way you were raised or, yeah, or something man. that you didn't have in your life, like, you got to understand everyone is so different. And w when I saw the relationship that you had in, with um, your, your dad yeah, specifically, yeah, yeah, yeah. I paused it with Nina and, and we had a little, like, dialogue about it because I didn't know, I you know, I didn't know much about your background but it sounded like a pretty rough upbringing i didn't realize yeah. how disconnected you were with your family yeah, or your but parents a man. lot of, a lot of people are disconnected with their parents or their dads like the idea of not even hogging my dad it's just like it was like a foreign thing or saying oh i love you dad it's just so foreign like back in the day like it's it's crazy it was just it just never happened and because he's always working, you know, it made sense because he had to do like two jobs and we didn't really have that time to bond ever. So it was it was kind of crazy. Like after one after, you know, I was 18 and I moved out and everything, like we just became strangers because we didn't know each other. He was just the guy who would just provide, and that was it. We didn't have a relationship, we didn't have that bond. And you know, that's what I'm trying to fix now and just what I'm trying to create. And it's cool because now I'm taking him to Arsenal games. Now I'm talking to him all the time, you know, saying, oh, what are you up to? And he's telling me, oh, he's learning um, how to fly or he's, oh, um, cool. yeah, yeah. Or he's learning, uh, he's, te you know, teaching the dog how to do tricks, etc. And then I'm telling him about my day and everything. Like this wasn't happening before. That's insane. What started yeah. it? What started the bond? It, you know, believe it or not, it was the doc. I was going to oh, say, it sounds shit. like the doc. It the sounds doc, like a documentary. It kind of just made us really think like, oh shit, we're not actually close at all. Like I'm just doing my own thing. He's doing his thing. And we just, there was just this separation. And I was happy what, to see you guys come together. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and one thing I was curious about, I'm going to say like a statement in the form of a question and not to come down on your dad, but mm. when he was talking about his childhood and the way he was raised and it sounded oh, yeah. it sounded pretty dark he it, didn't even he yeah yeah didn't even want to talk he about does, it i don't think i don't know if he'll ever open up about it as well he still has yet to talk to me about it my question that i asked my girlfriend when we mm. paused it and we're going back and forth was and i'm assuming a lot of parents will like understand this or relate to it is if he knew how he was raised as a child wasn't didn't make him feel good mm. growing up. Why would he not then make more of an effort to connect with his children that mm. he brought into the world? And I think I had had an answer. Um, and I, I asked that question and, and I, I think I landed on this is, and you said it, you're, I'm not trying to put words in your no, dad's no, mouth. No, no, no. I, I, I or presume that your dad's your dad's way of being a parent is that of providing. Yeah. And he did that. Yeah. In that regard, dude, he did fucking do that. And a lot of parents. And that's like, his way of love. Yeah. That's your way. Like he checked that box. Like, yeah. like to, to, 
I was blessed with parents who were, we did have a close relationship, right? But for a lot of parents, maybe that that is hard for them because of the way he grew up, and yeah. and, and he provided for you in a way that checked that box as being a dad where he didn't have that as a kid. So yeah, maybe yeah. that was all he needed yeah, to feel like he was yeah. doing a good job. Well, as also a think about, think about the cycle of parenthood. Like if I, if I tell you, if you grew up and you were never taught how to build a house and it, it hurt you that you couldn't build a house when you, when you got to have your own kids and they said, well, dad, why didn't you build me a house? I never learned how to build a house. Mm. If you're, if your father never learned how to be loved through his father, yeah. how can he then go and love a child properly? My only rebuttal so would be because, because that he knew how much it hurt no, to not no, have that no, love. So no. why wouldn't you go venture out to learn how but to so, do that? Yes, you're right. And, and, and extremely, some people are able to do that. And some people are able to pick that up through empathy and through, through the desire to learn that. But it's just, Sometimes those lessons not learned in, in your own childhood are hard to then teach yourself to, to give to others, you know? Mm. And so like, you know, they say like hurt people, hurt people. It's mm. kind of similar with love. If you don't know what love feels like, you don't know what it feels like to be embraced, to be told I love you, to be told I'm proud of you. It's not always super easy to then go and return that to, to a child, you know, to, to return to someone else. And yes, very emotionally intelligent people and empathetic people can probably pick it up. But not everybody's like that. Not everybody. Mm. Everybody's able to just create that formula within themselves. Well, I'm glad that you and your father are working it out. And no, yeah, how does that? You. How does that subconsciously have you noticed any kind of like oh, it change just, in in you? Like within, it just feels like just increases the happiness. Amazing. I think for me, yeah, it just feels great. Like it feels like there was a little bit of a hole in my heart that's being filled now. Yeah, you know, which sounds kind of funny to say, but it's just it's so nice, like to have like a dad that I can really just talk to properly and just, you know, love and it just be cool and we can do things together. Family, and I, family, I, I and I feel like with the doc as well, I, I'm hoping it inspires other people to do the same, to, you know, work on their relationship with their parents and to try and build on that and just, yeah, like in, help a whole generation of kids just be better fathers and, your doc, um, your doc will definitely help people yeah. do that, bro. And, and 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 I think I think with the onset of social media is as much of a, a negative um, <clears throat> tide that comes with it. Yeah. One of the positive things that social media has done in the past fifteen years is I truly believe the emotional, the collective emotional intelligence of humanity has has risen. Yeah. yeah. Beca because things like empathy, compassion, yeah. openness, vulnerability are now talked about. Mental health are now yeah. talked about without a certain stigma. Yes. And parents especially are resonating with that. And it looks like receiving the message in mm. a way that their kids are also downloading and getting closer with each other. Yeah. Like it's, it's actually... It's actually really cool. And you're not the only one with this issue, dude. Yeah, like man. I, like I, I related to, I had a dark period with my parents as well. Five yeah. years when I, when I first went off to LA. Oh shit. Nothing. They'd have to beg, beg me to get on the phone with them. Man. And then I, I made that conscious decision where I, I, and I'm still working on it. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. mom and dad. I, I love you guys. But like, <laughs> it does feel good. And, you, and you're yeah. realizing it now to have that relationship with your parents. Because at the end of the day, bro. I mean, I'm sure your, te your team is great and everyone yeah, yeah, loves, loves you, but like, yeah, bro, man. they're your parents. Yeah, they they're your family, man. From you, your yeah, mom, yeah. dad, they, like they've all you unconditional got, man. love, 100%. Yeah. Another, another big lesson from that too is like, a lot of times it takes one of the people in a broken relationship mm. to step up and say something. And I feel like that doc gave your dad the opportunity to hear your side yeah. that he wouldn't have heard otherwise. And it's it's something I I actively encourage people because it's such a weird thing about this life you'll have two people who both feel that dramatic hole in their hearts yeah and they'll both sit there and as a result of either ego or or pride you know or, or, or whatever pride sadness they won't come together and talk about how they feel and and it's it, one of the one of the situations in my life that I, I always resonated with or that always resonated with was my my grandmother who who just passed away and my mother and they didn't speak for almost a decade, a, a long time. Yeah. And luckily they had a mediator who came in and said, yo, I don't, I'm not fucking with this anymore. Yeah. Y'all are family. And, and some, some families are lucky to have a person that will step in and say, I, I'm, this is not okay. We're yeah. going to fix this. But most of the time, one of the people in that, in that relationship needs to step up and be like, y'all, I, I want to fix this. Cause I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to fix this. The yeah. last thing you 
ever want in this life is to get a phone call that yeah. someone that you didn't tell something to is gone, bro. It is the worst feeling. There is no feeling worse yeah. to know that you will never be able to deliver a message to someone after they pass. Yeah. And so I would, I would urge, I would plead with people out there that if you, you're feeling a certain way about a relationship with someone, especially a family member, mm. to just step up, swallow that pride, swallow that ego, and tell somebody how you actually feel. It's so important and, and, it will, and it will lead to the happiness that you feel in your yeah. heart right now. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.